hello guys welcome back so as we have already completed our first two challenges let's take up our third challenge now which is set up apex replay debugger so once if you launch your challenge let's copy this name which is debugger project and now let's get inside our vs code so here just click on view followed by command palette followed by sftx create project followed by standard now just paste that name now click on enter so once if it is done you can select anything over here so i have just created one such new folder called vs code i'm just going to click on it followed by create project so once if your project is getting created you will find classes on your left side just right click on classes so before that let's go back to our challenge just to copy our name so if you scroll down you will find this particular name which is account service just copy this and let's come back now right click on it followed by new apex class so this is now activating extension it will take little time just wait for it so i'm doing that again so if you click on new apex class or else you can also do like this view followed by command palette followed by new apex class So once if you get the search bar over here, you are just going to paste that account service and just click on force up main default from this drop down. So once if it is done, let's ignore all of these errors which you are getting. And now what we are going to do here is just go back to our challenge, just copy this code and come back to our VS code and here we are just going to replace this with new code so once if it is done let's do our test class now for that let's scroll down and copy this apex test class name so once if you copy this let's come back to your vs code and again i'm just going to right click on this classes followed by create apex class so here just paste the data followed by enter just choose our first option so once if it is done let's copy the code from our challenge click on copy and paste it right over here so once if it is done let's copy one name over here for that let's scroll down So we are just going to follow this step in order to authorize an org. Let's copy this debugger org. So once if it is done, let's come back to our VS code. So here by clicking on view command palette, we are going to type AUTH in order to get authorize an org. Just click on it, followed by project default. Now paste this value, followed by enter. So this is running right over here let it run this will open up a new browser just provide your password now click on login so this is showing authentication successful so once if it is done just close this window let's come back to our challenge in order to check it scroll down and click on verify step so yeah guys we have successfully completed our third challenge as well final challenge will be available in the same playlist to check that so before that if you are having any doubts regarding how to reset my password or how to know my username while doing authorization all you need to do here is just click on launch after clicking on launch you will get to see this playground started if you are not able to view this click on app launcher 
so in this search app just type playground so that you will get this playground starter just click on it so here you will see get your login credential if you go to that tab followed by reset my password you will get the reset password in your mail so that you can use that username and password in this way you can pass this challenge so see you all on next video if you find this video useful do subscribe to our channel until then bye bye